I don't know if you guys have found this area yet, but I'm over here by Spectacle Island. It's right there. And the Pridwin, which puts me about... Oh, I can't pull up my map in this view, so I don't know which direction I'm in. Maybe northeast of Spectacle Island or something? It, it, it doesn't matter. You can pretty much see where I am. I'm by Spectacle Island and the Pridwin. And I found this island. Yeah. I had no idea that this island was sitting here. I mean, of course, I already built up on it, so I built the house and all those structures that you see. But it was just sitting over here. It had a rundown house similar to Tim Pine, so I just scrapped that and then built all this shit. But yeah, I had no idea that this island was just over here. Is, uh, is anybody believing me? Huh? No, I, I'm getting somebody. I know I am. I see, I fooled you again! I built this shit. There is no island sitting here. Everything that you see, I built mostly with the grounded mod that I showed off in my last video. You guys are getting way too easy to fool. I mean, it's, it's getting kind of boring. Alright, the island tour is about to start, so everyone who's going, please line up. Turn in your liability waiver forms that you should have signed and dated. I will not accept it without the date. And aboard the boat in an orderly fashion, alright? No pushing, single file, let's act like adults here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your captain speaking. We're about to set sail. Please return to your seats and buckle your seatbelt. The island is approximately 53 seconds away, so uh, a nice short trip. Uh, we know you have options out there, so we appreciate you traveling via our ocean liners. Hope you enjoy your trip. Oh my god! Susan! Someone fucking help her! I'll be the first one to say it. Um, that reaction was a little over the top. In the moment I forgot that cats can swim, they just don't like to. So, we're fine, everything's fine. Let's just shake it off. So, here's the island. It's not very inviting with the spikes and the do not enter sign. Um, Cause you know, leave me the fuck alone. I don't want, no, this is my place, okay? I don't want people bothering me, you know? Like I built this shit with my bare hands, so leave me the hell alone, man. I mean, except for you guys. You guys are pretty cool. But yeah, we have a lot to look at. So let's go through the house first. Pretty basic, we don't need a lot, you know, I mean, we have a whole island to ourselves, so the house is pretty quaint. The kitchen's pretty simple, don't really have a stove or anything because we grow our own food out there, so. And when I say we, I mean, I work on the food out there. Susan doesn't do shit. And this is the bedroom. I have a lot of windows, man, because this is a very breezy area, and it gets really warm in the summertime, so. You know, I have a bunch of open areas for the air to flow. And out here is where I paint. Yeah, I paint occasionally. It's it's relaxing and I mean what else are we gonna do out here? So I'll paint something and sell it to Diamond City or whoever wants it. I got a backlog of paintings underneath the bed right there, so I need to sell those bad boys. And I mean look at the inspiration I have. Look at that view. So it's really easy to come up with a new idea. And the rest of this whole area is just our garden area. This is where we eat, this is where we get a lot of our food from. We just live off the land. Nothing's really growing in right now, but you know, we got some corn, got some potatoes, there's all kinds of stuff. And you know, Susan does kind of help by keeping the critters out of here from eating our plants, so I, I guess she does help a little bit. We gotta give her some credit. But you know, I got bored of eating corn very quickly, so I built this little area to capture some fish, and we should have some down there. We do, look at them, swimming around. What's up, fellas? You might want to watch out for Susan. <laughs> uh, uh, that was a cat and fish joke. That's pretty funny, right? But when I get a good catch, I'll come out here and clean everything up, get it ready to sell it to the market. I sell a lot of things, but you know, you gotta be self-sustainable, right? You gotta be self-sufficient. And that's how I make my caps, and I'm able to keep up with this place. Now, you guys have seen me build a ton of player homes. I have them all over the Commonwealth, but this one is going to be my main house, where I actually keep all the stuff that I use in the game. So with that, I wanted to make sure that I had an area for all of my workbenches, like you just saw the scavenging area. And in this shed is the chemistry workbench. Gotta keep all these chemicals safe from the hazardous environment outside. And I use it for medicinal purposes, not just for Kim, so don't judge me. This is where I work on upgrading my armor. And with each one of these areas, you're going to see a construction spotlight, some kind of spotlight. Because I found a construction area not too far away and looted it. And got a shit ton of these floor lights, so I'm really, really excited for that. I can work on this shit at night. It actually looks pretty badass in here at night, so you'll see a tour of that later on. 
But that's where I get my water from, my power, my windmill right there. But my favorite spot is this one right here, this fishing dock, man. Like, grab a couple of beers, cook up some food, and have a nice sit for a minute. You know, you can fish, listen to the radio, and check out that view. Fucking amazing. You can see everything. The Commonwealth skyline, the mountains spawning in the background. It's just so realistic and peaceful. Just sit back and take it in. That's what she said. Sorry, sorry. I thought it as soon as I said it, but I didn't want to ruin the moment. So a little delayed, but she did. She, she did say that. Now, obviously, I didn't want this island to be completely flat. So I built this hill cliff thing out of the mound hill that we get from the grounded mod, which is kind of hard to walk up, but it still works. And I put in a guard post right here in the middle of the entire island, just in case something happens and I got to be like, what was that? What's going on? Who do I got to kill? Or, you know, something like that. It's a good mixture up here. I have a place where I can sit down and relax, maybe have some food because it is a good chill spot. Or I can come over here and work on some weapons, which I thought was a good place to, to have a weapons workbench was right here by the guard post. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of stocked up just in case. And I didn't put a post or anything right here because who's going to come from out there? You know, I'm not too worried about it. And there's one more spot that I want to show you guys, which is just below us. So I have to walk all the way around. So I'll, I'll meet you there. Uh, here's the bathroom. See? You're welcome. But back here was the perfect spot to hollow out and turn it into some sort of like uh, a bunker area, I guess. It's like some, some, some kind of cave that I set up just in case something happens. Which I don't know why there's an ongoing fire if I set it up just in case. See, this is why I don't do, I don't do lore, guys. I'm not good with... Uh, with with keeping it consistent it doesn't make sense but either way just in case something happens like you, the island gets raided or there's really bad weather that I need to escape from i have some shelter with a bunch of boxes and barrels full of weapons and food to sustain me for quite some time but that is everything that i built and here's me in workshop mode just so you can get an idea of what it looked like to build this now i don't normally gloat when it comes to something I built, but I'm really pleased with the way that this came out. This is probably my favorite build I've done. And that's not because I think, oh, look at me, I'm such a great builder, ah. It's not that. I was able to do this with the mod Grounded by Serenia. As you can see, I used that mod to create this whole island. I just found a random spot in the ocean, got a workbench, and then started laying down foundations. It was just so much fun to do because we can take these objects and glitch them together to make really whatever we want. But that is it for the build. I do have a silent tour coming up so you guys can see it at night, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys like it. Now, I am going to upload this through Transfer Settlements so you guys can have it in your game. And, oh, man, I forgot. I don't even have a name for the, the island yet. You guys let me know. What should the name of the island be? Let me know in the comments. Puns are not required, but appreciated. But thanks for watching up to this point. Now, here's the tour.
Alright, thanks for watching. I would really like to hear what you guys think, so let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a place to share your builds with me, get some help with mods, or just simply talk about anything Fallout, then come check out my Discord server. The link is in the description. I'm very interactive on there, and the community that we've built has been such a great thing to be a part of. And if you want to see more builds from me, check out these next videos that YouTube picked out for you based off of your viewing history, which is definitely not invasive or creepy at all. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.